So the game is, is quite unique, I think. It's a different take on um, the World War One kind of gaming experience in that it's not a first-person shooter like you would expect. Um, it's really more about the kind of um, empathy um, with the individual soldiers who uh, experience uh, these kind of life-changing things during um, the World War. And it really shows from the perspective of two individual characters, one, on, one Canadian on the Allied Forces side and one German, um, the two different perspectives on what was involved in the conflict. It's either him or me. Entweder er oder ich. We did all of the motion capture for the game footage, so we did all of the hero character animation and a lot of the animation using motion capture for some of the background characters as well. We are a research facility, but we work on making, developing tools and things that actually are to be used in industry. And this was a perfect way of us working with industry to find out the kind of what's required in a job like this. It was actually, because it was kind of a big kind of global commission, there were people all over the world that were involved in this project. Um, we had the animation director kind of video linking in from Singapore. They could actually talk to the actor, direct the actor, see what the motion looked like in the game, because we had it streaming into the game. And that, that was actually quite eye-opening. It's been a real pleasure working with Ardman. They are a fantastic, uh, globally known company, uh, but based, based regionally, obviously, just up the road in Bristol. Um, very professional, fantastic kind of creative minds involved. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields.